Hey, what's up guys? It's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode of my single player Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft series. Now, today is going to start off a little different. I feel like I say that for a lot of my episodes, but today's video is starting off very different. We are actually not starting off in my vanilla Let's Play world. We're in a completely different world. I'm flying around here. We've got this crazy building behind us, which I'm going to explain here in just a second. But today is a big day for me. Today has been such a fun day. Today is the day that I finally launched my Patreon and my Patreon server. So I've had my Patreon for a little over a week now, I'm just kind of getting things set up, getting things um, ready to go and I have been working on setting up this server and this is going to be a multiplayer server that you guys can come and play on if you would like to and that is like the most exciting thing for me to say I have just been wanting to say that for the longest time and I can I finally can and it feels so good um, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of this place there's nothing really to see except for spawn as well as kind of talk to you guys about patreon and what it's all about so first things first I am going to show you the world a little bit and then we'll get into patreon and what that's all about so this is pretty much all I have to show you um, this is spawn so here on my patreon server this is where you are going to spawn if you do decide that you want to be a part of this server which I'll explain more in detail here in just a second how you actually become a member of this server and things like that But this is spawn. I you know cooked this up I just designed it and I actually really like it I think it has a really funky roof So I wanted to have a spawn portal just because you never know we could link this up We have a really good portal location. I actually really love where this comes out I also have some chests here, which we can access I put some steak in there So if you do come on the server you can grab a stack of 16 steak to kind of get you started get you going uh, make sure you don't die when you first get on the server got some furnaces which is cool as well as crafting tables these are always helpful to have and then over here just some general rules you guys know no griefing no destroying other people's builds no spamming chat no vulgar language things like that I'm going to be kind of a stickler when it comes to that stuff just because I want this to be a place where everybody can have fun um, a place where people can come and build in Minecraft and play survival Minecraft with other people and if I do hear of anything you know kind of bad that happens, um, any griefing or stealing and things like that. That's not really going to be tolerated on the server. So just to forewarn you guys, you'd rather play on a server where the rules are a little bit more laxed on that, then that's totally up to you. Um, but here on this server, that is how it's going to be dealt with. So yeah, there will be some consequences if those things happen, you could potentially get banned. So just so you guys know, um, I do feel like I need to throw that out there. I know a lot of you guys, you know, will follow the rules, you know, there could be the occasion person who is into that kind of stuff and if you are then I'm sorry but this probably isn't the server for you with that being said I hope that this server really blossoms and it really grows and I'm excited to have a bunch of people on this server and it should be so much fun and I'm just very excited so next thing I'm gonna talk about before we jump into our regular single-player Minecraft world I wanted to talk about patreon and what exactly it is Patreon's a pretty cool website. It's a website that you guys can go to. I will be sure to link it down below as well as here on my screen. There's so much more information on there than I'll probably get to in this video. Um, I'm just going to kind of breeze over it in this video, but everything is going to be down in the description. So I highly suggest you actually check out the Patreon page. It helps support your favorite content creators or artists or things like that. So people who like to make videos or make art or people who like to do all kinds of forms of media. But it's a cool website where you can donate to your favorite content creators or media makers things like that And it helps them and what they can do is they can also give rewards out for your support and for different tiers there's different rewards so the first reward i'm offering is patron only posts so i'll be posting on patreon some sneak peeks of things also early world downloads and texture pack releases if i do decide to do a texture pack and things like that along with just other events and news things that you guys would want to know early in advance the next reward is going to be in my palace of patrons which is actually what we're going to be doing in today's episode i know i'm kind of talking right now but the palace of patrons is a really cool thing that i'm going to be building and i'm going to be putting your minecraft skin 
in my palace of patrons along with your name and it's going to be kind of like a thank you and i want to put you guys in my world so that's what that's going to be about the next prize is this my server so you'll gain access to my server this is a whitelist only server so you do have to be whitelisted in order to play on the server i will add your name and you will be whitelisted if you do decide that you want to join the server and you can play on this as much as you want you can come on anytime and you can build whatever you want and it's going to be really cool because there's going to be a community of people especially on discord and we can all talk and chat and so i i really wanted to do this because i wanted a way to play minecraft with you guys and this was kind of a really nice way to organize it and put it all together and last but not least the last reward is going to be a build of your choice so if you do decide to go with this reward and donate enough for this reward I am going to be building a build of your choice you can request anything that you would like as long as it's like not crazy massive or anything like that like just a, a really nice um, build I will be building your request in my single player world you will also get a note in that build so when the world download comes out you can go read the note come on the server you will also be put in my palace of patrons if you do the build request you will get access to the server and you'll be put in my palace of patrons so there's lots of things there's lots of cool rewards lots of things for you guys and I really wanted to get back to you because you guys give so much back to me and I just have a couple of last minute things to say before we get back into our single player world and we continue on with this episode, but this is super important to me, so thank you for, you know, sitting through this and listening to me. Also, I just want to throw it out there that I totally understand if you are not for Patreon, if you don't agree with it. I get that. I get that. I totally do. So don't feel like this is ever something that I'm like requesting upon you to do, something that you have to do. You definitely do not have to go to my Patreon page. You don't have to check it out. You do not have to agree with Patreon, that's totally okay. It's just something that I wanted to try out, something that I think could be really cool and a way for me to kind of give something back to you guys. So that's the reason for me wanting to do it. But again, like I said, I totally understand if Patreon's not your thing, if you don't agree with it, that is totally understandable. I won't take offense to it and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And last but not least, I also wanted to give a huge thank you to Cubed Host for helping me with this server. This is a dream come true. This is something I've wanted to do for quite a while now, definitely a few months. I've been thinking about it pretty heavily and just having this server up and running is such a good feeling. So huge, huge, huge thank you to Cubed Host. I'm going to put my Cubed Host information down below. I have a link for you guys as well as a code that you can use to get 25% off and the 25% off discount is for Minecraft servers or TeamSpeak 3 services, as long as you choose the monthly billing cycle, as long as that one's selected, then you guys should be able to use my code. That's such a cool thing that they were able to do that for me. So again, huge thank you to Cubetoast. And Cubetoast is seriously so awesome. If you ever need any help on your server, like if you're having trouble with anything, you could just send them a message and they will be like quick, so quick to help you and sort things out. They have they really are such a great company when it comes to Minecraft servers. Now, I know that was a lot of talking. I know that was a really long intro. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys again for sitting and listening to me talk on about all this stuff that I'm so excited about. But I promise we are going to get into the vanilla episode right now. So I'm going to meet you back in my survival single player Let's Play world. Okay, guys. So we are in my single player let's play world and i'm just gonna run around here a little bit actually we're gonna head over in this direction up on top of this mountain here is where i plan on putting my palace of patrons now i did a lot of thinking about this and i was trying to come up with an idea on what i could do for my patrons a way to put you guys in this world i just wanted to have a place for you guys in this world and to be able to put your minecraft skins and things like that and i was trying to think of ideas on how i wanted to do this and i couldn't really think of anything and i was just thinking about like what do i like doing in minecraft what's my favorite thing to do in minecraft and that's building and I was trying to come up with an idea because I know that a lot of other Minecraft YouTubers who do have Patreon usually make a designated building towards their patrons. That's kind of a, a thing. And I think it's really cool. I really, really do think it's cool. And I was just trying to think of an idea to where I could do something different. But I, I really thought about it and I considered it. And I was thinking, I love building and, and I want a way to showcase you guys in this world. 
and I think I'm gonna go with a building too just because it is my interest it's my main interest in Minecraft I do love making buildings and creating buildings and this was kind of a way that I could create a new building and have a purpose for it in this world but right now I'm just getting some terraforming done because this is gonna be important I want to make sure this land kind of looks flat and we have a place to build and I also want to get rid of all of the stone that I can because the majority of the build is going to be built out of stone and I think if there's too much of it it could start to blend in with the ground and that's not what I want that's what I'm gonna do and I think I'm also gonna do the build in the form of a time-lapse because I do plan on this being a pretty big build it's a palace so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get all of this terraforming done and then I'll come back with you guys talk to you for just a second and then we'll start this time-lapse we'll get on to this build which I'm so excited for like this build is gonna be such a cool one I've already kind of planned it out and started thinking ahead and I think you guys are really gonna like it so I will be right back I got some work to do but I will talk to you guys in just a second alright guys so I got the area all terraformed it's looking pretty good um, so this is the area where I'm gonna be doing the build so right here it's gonna be kind of in the side of this mountain not exactly but basically what I want to do is I want to be able to hollow this out and have a kind of corridor that goes down and then maybe has some wings off the sides too um, I think that would look cool. I think that would give us enough room and enough space and I thought building it inside a mountain is probably my best option just so I can have as much space as I need. I also could go underground if I need that too. So that's going to work pretty well but all of this is done and I got my chest over here ready to build. So I originally had a plan set off for this build and I'm still going with that plan. The only thing I'm changing is the glass color. So I originally had purple, but I kind of decided that I want to go with red and for this town. So I know I'm kind of jumping back and forth between that town. I also started the ravine town and now I'm starting this town. I just got a lot of things. I get sidetracked very easily. I like starting new projects a lot. Um, it's just kind of how I am when I build. I like to jump around. I decided that as kind of the story of this area that they are going to love redstone so that's kind of the one that they they really like they love the color red here and I got the idea because originally I thought purple I was but then I saw these poppies on the ground all over here and I was like you know what red actually might look really nice and we do have a bunch of redstone so we can make ores out of that we could silk touch it and make it look like they worship redstone which would be pretty cool um, and we could even try to do some redstone builds over here that might be an idea so lots of things kind of went through my head when I was thinking about this and I just wanted to kind of talk about that really quick so that's kind of the backstory but I like that this is going to be separate the Sun is going down so I'm gonna sleep really quick and then we will move on to a time-lapse sit back enjoy the music and I hope you guys enjoy this time-lapse <laughs>
I finally got it finished guys this project has taken me a really long time uh, just with the amount of detail that's in this build I really went all out with the detail and the extravagance of this build I really like this um, now I have been looking at it for a while and I don't know if I love the red um, and I know I wanted to do like a redstone town and I wanted the color to be red um, and I, I don't hate it but I'm kind of looking at it and I like the purple a lot so I'm kind of just debating whether I want to change the red out for purple it wouldn't take that long and it would be really easy maybe I'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see what it would look like with purple um, versus with red and you guys can tell me what you think down in the comments section whether you like purple or red better because I don't know I just like I really like the way it looked with purple and then I tried it with red and it's not bad but it's just different like there's just something that I don't know I don't know but then again I, I like look at it again and it, it's okay like I, I do like the red I don't know I don't know you guys will have to let me know but I did go in on the inside and add a little bit of detail so I just did kind of the main entryway here with a little light I'm probably gonna cover this up with carpet not sure yet how this is gonna look but this is going to be the entryway for the actual patron place this is where I'm gonna be putting your guys's names your guys's minecraft heads um, you guys will see here soon as well as the armor that you pick out when you become one of my patrons so um, that is it I also did this cool little detail up here which actually looks pretty nice I I really like how like crazy and detailed it looks in here it's really cool and then I did ooh, we can pop back in here you guys can see that light up there um, I did that and we can see that from the outside it gives a really nice glow during the nighttime and one of my favorite things actually is this build from far away which might sound kind of weird but if we walk over here okay wait, wait, wait we'll keep going we'll keep going and I just want to back up like so if we're in this town and we kind of turn around you can see this little castle kind of looming in the distance and just look at the shape of that that's so cool and then as we get closer and closer it comes into view and you can see this like really cool structure um, off in the distance and I really love the way it looks from far away I think that is so cool we'll OptiFine zoom on that it looks sick and yeah guys I really like this like I said I can't decide between the red and the purple um, so that's something you guys could definitely help me out with, but I see like, I don't know. I kind of thought the red would be nice because poppies just grow naturally here, but, but yeah, I do like this build so much. This is such a fun build and I think it turned out really good. So next thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to run over and talk about those cranes that I built over there. All right, guys. So these cranes are kind of cool. So I built these cranes off camera. I actually was going, going to do a full episode on these um, and just building these. These are for the lumber mill, which is going to be put right here. It's still kind of in the works right now. And actually, I did some work down here too that I can show you guys. I kind of carved out some sections for trees. So if we pop down here, we've got, I still need to um, do the ceilings. They're definitely not high enough, especially for a 4x4 here. That's not going to cut it. Um, but I just wanted to get some rooms done for some tree farms. But getting back to the cranes, I got so distracted there for a second. These cranes are super, super cool. And I thought instead of doing them in an episode, I want to do them in a tutorial. So this is something I've been thinking about doing on my channel a little bit more. But I've been a little hesitant because um, as of right now I've only been doing let's plays I haven't been doing like tutorial videos I used to do tutorial videos and they were a lot of fun I kind of have strayed away from them and started doing let's plays but I wanted to ask you guys if you would like to see a tutorial on these cranes because I think they turned out pretty cool and I want to like go into more detail on how I made them and how I built them and I think that could be a really cool tutorial idea I also have one more tutorial that I'm thinking about filming and it's for a boathouse um, it's actually like a 
upside down boat house thing and I've been wanting to do a tutorial on that but I've just I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in and it would kind of reassure me on the idea if you guys let me know down in the comments section that that's a good idea so I would love to hear from you guys would you guys like to see tutorials from me especially the crane and the boathouse because I do think these turned out pretty cool and I would love to make a tutorial and I might just do a tutorial just for the fun of it anyway um, on these guys yeah let me know what you guys think about the tutorial idea I'm gonna run over and sleep really quick alright guys so heading back over to the palace of patrons I just wanted to say before I end the episode thank you guys so much um, for you know coming and looking at my channel and viewing this episode I hope you guys really enjoyed this build because this was personally a really fun build for me it's very very intricate but it was like it took so much time but it was so much fun so for the next episode what I need to do is I actually need to carve out the inside and we are going to be putting in all of the patrons who donate or have donated I have had a few people donate already which is really amazing thank you guys so much for just like coming over to my patron and believing but the patrons that already have donated and the patrons that do donate in the future are going to need to be added into our palace of patrons so that's what we're gonna do in the next episode and yeah that should be pretty fun it's going to be a little bit of a you know a little a little fun thing that we can do here in the episodes and I also want to work on the lumber mill so I think that's gonna be our next couple of episodes planned out so just so you guys know where we're headed and um, we also have forever stranded going as well as decidedly vanilla so stay tuned for those two but yeah guys that is going to have to end today's episode thank you guys so much for watching I just want to say thank you for watching this video thank you for watching all of my videos and it just means the world to me that you guys continue to show your support you guys always leave comments comments and I try to get back to you as much as I can in the comments section and thank you guys for just really enjoying my builds for joining my discord too I've had so many people join my discord and we have some really fun conversations on there we share some music we talk about movies we talk about Minecraft and it's just a really cool thing so thank you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next episode I hope you all have a very beautiful wonderful day bye guys